we can download high resolution satellite imagery from google earth and georeference in arcgis pro to make a geotiff let's see how to do that open google earth pro and zoom to your location make the image view from top and align to the north we are going to download this area with some ground control points please take some little more area in each side than your study area let's go to my places and create a new folder we will name it gcp okay now let's add four gcps in the four corners click on this at place mac button and move it to one side of your image let's name it one and select one icon these icons are better for gcps so that we can easily point out in the middle point okay now our number one gcp is added now go for the next one and let's move it here and name it two and third one three and fourth one now we will export this image along with the gcp let's export the gcp first right click on the folder and save place as go to your folder where you want to save let's save it as kml file save now we will save the image if you do not want these labels of of places you can turn this off from here so that the email image will look cleaner now go to file and then save save image map options you can turn these things on if you want but for now we will use the cleaner image so turn all these elements off and then resolution we will use maximum resolution that is 8192 by 5234 now let's click save image we will use here google earth image and save now go to arcgis pro we have already added world imagery hybrid base map you can also add this from map and base map now let's load our gcp first for that go to analysis and then click on tools under the geoprocessing toolboxes expand conversion tools and within the conversion tools you will see kml click on this and then kml to layer here we need to input our kml file browse to the file where your gcp is saved click on this kml file and then ok now let's run kml to layer is completed let's close this and zoom to layer let's uh, let's right click on gcp and zoom to layer now let's see the coordinate system of the points go to right click on points and go to properties and go to source and under the source you will find special reference here you can see that 
This is EPA Z4326. That is WGS1984 geographic coordinate system. Let's also change our map to that coordinate system. Right click on map and go to properties. You can search here for 326 and this one. Let's click apply and okay. Now let's load our image further go to map add data and browse browse to your location where your image is saved this is our image let's click on this and okay it says unknown coordinate system since we do not have any coordinate system in our image this is a simple jpg image now let's move it up under the gcp uh, while you select the image go to imagery and then georeference in georeference menu you will find fit to display if we click on this the image will be fitted to the extent of our current map now click on this fit display you can see that our image is loaded here we have image gcp also the gcp from the shape let's change the symbology of our point so that we can easily identify which one is from image and which one is from our shape right click on points and then symbology click on this just change the color let's make it yellow and apply now close the symbology the yellow points are from our gcp points and white black within white is coming from the images now we need to connect those points let's click on this add control point and first we need to select the point in the image and then connect to the shape corresponding point now let's move to the second one this is the number one let's connect those since auto apply is turned on it will automatically move to the place this is the number two click on this and corresponding gcp now let's move to the last one our image is georeferenced let's turn it off and turn on to see there are little bit distortion uh, which you can minimize with some more gcps now let's click save if you save it will write the world file with the jpg image let's see this one is our image now these two files are written for the world file to georeference this image when you have these two files in the same folder with this image and if you bring it to ArcGIS Pro, then it will be automatically georeferenced. But if you want to save this image as a separate georeferenced GeoTIFF, you can click on the Save as New and then select the location. Write it GE image georeferenced and then save output format click on tiff and you can select the coordinate reference system now go to the compression settings here the compression type is selected none if you select none the image will be much much bigger just select some compression type let's go for jpeg and now export the image is saved and loaded to our map you can see that 
this is the georeferenced image if we close our jpeg image and also gcp let's close the georeference now you can see that our geotiff is loaded correctly thanks for watching